Hey, what's up? It's Connor. The MacBook Air is one of the best and most loved laptops in Apple's lineup, and really just in general, as it's super thin and light, we have the power of Apple Silicon, and we now have two size options at 13 and 15 inches. And at the time of recording this video, Apple has slowly rolled out their back to school program where you can get a discount on your MacBook itself, and then a gift card on top of that purchase, depending on what model and variation you go with. So now is a great time to pick up a MacBook Air if you happen to be in the market, or if you already have one, these accessories are what's going to elevate your M2 MacBook Air experience. The first accessory up on this list solves one of the problems with the Air and that's only having two Thunderbolt ports available to you. So when you want to connect external peripherals or storage or maybe like an SD card or something, you got to rely on a hub or dock to do so. And that is where the sponsor of this video, JSOX, comes in and solve this problem with their Omni Case 2. This is seriously the best docking station that I've ever used and believe me, I've used so many over the years and nothing can beat this one. The Omni Case 2 has two HDMI ports that support 4K60, three USB-C ports, one being the connection to your device, and another allowing for 100 watt pass-through charging, a gigabit ethernet port, SD and micro SD card slots, display port allowing for 4K60, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But besides all these ports, where this docking station really takes it to another level is with its magnetic removable lid. You can remove this magnetic lid, revealing a little storage area where you can store SD and micro SD cards, and also also has a SIM eject tool. But within the lid itself is where you have the connection cable for your device to the hub and also some adapters such as a USB-A, lightning, micro USB, and a 90 degree little extender. Everything that's within this magnetic lid, make sure that you have everything that you need to connect any device at any time, no matter where you are. To go along with the docking station, JSOX also has a laptop stand that adds the perfect height to get your MacBook Air closer to eye level and offer better ergonomics to improve your posture and reduce strain in your neck and wrists. It has an all aluminum body with non-slip silicone at the bottom, as well as at the parts where your laptop will sit, so there's no chance of scratches. It's a very simple stand, but it's really strong and sturdy, and it's not gonna wobble while you're using it. And it's also pretty thin and light, which is what's most important within a laptop stand. The laptop stand and the docking station go hand in hand though, as there's a little magnetic spot on the back of the stand where the hub can magnetically attach to. This is such a neat combo as you have an ergonomic laptop stand and the ability to connect anything you want with any port that you need, all without taking up any additional space. If you're interested in the laptop stand or the Omni case too, I will leave a link to it in the description down below and everything else mentioned in this video. So the MacBook Air, or really just any MacBook in general, arguably has the best trackpad on really any device. And as much as I like to use it alone, sometimes a mouse is just a better option for better precision or better ergonomics. And that is why I pair my MacBook Air with the Logitech MX Master 3. The MX Master 3 is an excellent wireless mouse with an ergonomic design, precision tracking, and versatile customizable buttons. And this mouse offers a great balance of comfort, performance, functionality to enhance your productivity. One of the standout features of the MX Master 3 is the scroll wheel, which offers both fast and precision scrolling, and it can automatically switch between these two modes based on your scrolling speed, which provides a seamless experience. And then the additional buttons, including the thumb wheel and gesture buttons, can be customized to perform various functions, making it highly versatile for different applications and workflows. On the topic of peripherals, I don't typically pair my MacBook with an external keyboard, but when it's up on the laptop stand, sometimes it's just easier to have a keyboard. And I also just really like using this one, and it's the Nufi Air 75. It's a 75% ultra slim wireless keyboard with Gateron low profile hot swappable switches. It features an aluminum frame and magnetic feet. And this keyboard is super slim, compact and lightweight and shares the exact same layout as the Magic Keyboard found on the MacBook itself. And it actually fits perfectly on top of the 13 inch keyboard, which makes it feel like the exact same keyboard as your normal Magic Keyboard. Besides this being a mechanical keyboard, I also really love the color scheme as well as the RGB effects throughout the keyboard just to add a nice pop of color and personality, whether you're at your desk or working remotely. And if you do plan on working remotely with this, it has a nice optional full
portfolio, which makes it really nice for traveling. Now, a troubling thing about the MacBook Air lineup is the storage, as you only get 256 gigabytes on the base model. There's also the whole like slower SSD NAND chip thing, which is why I always recommend going with the 512 model and then pairing an external SSD. This one here is SanDisk and it's their Extreme Pro SSD, which is a high performance solid state drive that is designed to deliver fast and reliable storage for demanding applications. It offers pretty impressive performance with the read and write speeds. So whether you're transferring large files or you're editing high resolution photos and videos, or you're running resource intensive applications, the Extreme Pro SSD can handle that workload with ease. This SSD can significantly improve your system's performance and provide a reliable storage solution for your data. The next accessory up is an external monitor and it's one that you probably already have and that's just an iPad. And this can be any iPad that supports the latest software which is also almost every iPad and utilize one of the best features of macOS and iPadOS which is Sidecar. Apple Sidecar is a feature that was introduced with macOS Catalina as well as iPadOS 13. And this just allows you to extend or mirror your Mac display with your iPad providing an additional screen for your workflow. Setting up Sidecar is relatively straightforward as all you need to do is bring your Mac and iPad close together, make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network and have Bluetooth enabled, or what I actually mainly use, and I think it's probably best that you do as well, which is using a USB connection. Once you have these two paired, you can access the settings through the AirPlay menu on your Mac or go into your system settings on your iPad. Sidecar offers two display modes, which are Extend and Mirror, and in Extend mode, your iPad acts as an additional screen, allowing you to drag windows and apps onto it for an increased productive workflow. Mirroring on the other hand, just basically replicates what's exactly on your Mac's display to your iPad, which makes it pretty useful for presentations or screen sharing. It can just be a valuable tool for anyone who wants to enhance their productivity and workspace, as I know a lot of us kind of just already have iPads, especially old iPads that are just lying around. And there's a good chance that it supports Sidecar. So bring your iPad back to life and utilize it as a second display for your Mac but definitely make sure to use the USB connection so that you have zero latency and the best experience. When it comes to chargers, I would just stick with the Apple one, the one that's in the box or the one that you chose at checkout. The Apple USB-C power adapter is a pretty compact and efficient charging accessory. And what's nice is that it's designed for your Apple devices as well as your Mac. It has a small form factor, making it highly portable and convenient for travel and the folding prongs further enhance its portability by minimizing the risk of damage to the adapter or other devices in your bag. So whether you go with the 30 watt or 70 watt power adapter, it also offers fast charging capabilities for your iPhone and iPad and also charge up your air no problem. And not to mention it's like free with your MacBook Air purchase. So just utilize the charger that's in the box. Or if you want to upgrade to the dual port one, because you need that additional USB-C port. That's also a great option as well. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for the best accessories to pair with your M2 MacBook Air, or really any MacBook, whether it's a MacBook Pro or a desktop Mac. It really doesn't matter. They all work across the Mac lineup. And let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna go with the 13 or 15 inch Air. I'm really interested in what you guys would choose. And also let me know what your favorite accessory is to pair with your MacBook. And of course, if you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a like and share it to a friend. And if you like Apple tech or desk setup related content, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, peace.